If you're interested in learning to make your own jewelry, one of the easiest techniques to learn is knotting. It's most often done with pearls, although other beads can be used. Pearls are inexpensive, which makes them a great choice, especially for beginners. This whole craft project is great for beginners because the supplies required are also relatively inexpensive. You buy the pearls in strands like this. They're temporarily strung, so you have to do something else with them. Then you need cord. Bead cord comes in dozens of different colors, so it's up to you if you want to get a color that matches your pearls exactly or a color that contrasts it. You can buy the bead cord on these little cards or you can buy a spool. The cards hold two meters, and the great thing about the cards is that they already have a needle attached. The bead cord comes in different sizes. The size is listed in the upper right hand corner. It's a good idea to buy the same size as the millimeter number. So this is a number six bead cord. It would correspond with six millimeter beads. This isn't a hard and fast rule. If you're just starting out, you might as well buy a six, a five, and a seven if you have six millimeter beads, just so you're covered. You don't want to get bead cord that's too small because then once you knot it, the beads will slip right over the knots. The next thing you need to get is called a bead tip. These are made out of metal. They can be made out of sterling silver or base metal. And they're shaped like a little Pac-Man with the hook on the end. They come in the open position. You slide the cord through, knot it, and then clamp them down over the knot. These just keep the necklace in place and they provide you a place where you can attach your clasp or toggle. You'll also need a toggle or some other kind of clasp. And the last most important thing that you'll need is a pair of tweezers. They need to have a tapered point and come to a very fine point. Then you also have the option of either using um, nail polish or some glue to seal the knots on the end of your knotted necklace, or you can just leave them as they are. They should be pretty strong, but that just adds an extra level of reinforcement. So we're ready to get started. If you aren't sure if you're using the right size bead cord, just do a little test. Take the needle off, slide bead over the needle, and see how easily it slides down the cord. There should be a slight resistance as you slide it. It shouldn't be a major resistance, but it shouldn't just slide back and forth freely over the cord or you know that the bead is too big for that particular cord. The first thing you'll need to do is remove the pearls from the string, the temporary string that you bought them on. Then you're ready to start stringing. Start with one of the bead tips, face it downward. It's going to be the outside edge, so it needs to be able to clamp that way. The necklace will be here, the other one's going to clamp that way. And then you just start stringing the beads on one at a time. And then go ahead and just start stringing all the pearls onto the cord. Inevitably, with a strand of pearls, especially when you buy less expensive pearls, there will be a few on the strand that you're not that thrilled with. It's okay when you're stringing to discard a few. The knots will add some length to the overall necklace, so getting rid of a few beads is not going to make it shorter than the temporary string you started with. It will still be longer. And yes, just string all the pearls onto the cord, one at a time. Another thing that's great about stringing pearls and knotting pearls is that if you do this part at home and just take the actual knotting part with you, it makes a great 
hobby or craft when you're someplace that you have a long wait, like at the airport. It's really easy to travel. There's no mess. You don't have to worry about dropping beads everywhere if they're already on the string. It requires very limited attention, so it's easy to do when you're talking on the phone or watching TV. And it's pretty fast, so if you know you're wearing a particular color to work the next day, you can make a custom design necklace the night before and have it ready to go. Just stringing the last couple of beads on. Then the last bead tip. And I'm just about ready to start knotting.